Hey everybody, it's Andrew Martin coming to you with another message. Happy September! <laughs> it is September and I am so happy that it is September. I love September. It's one of my favorite months. Not only is it my birthday month, um, happy birthday to me! Um, not today, my birthday's not for a couple of weeks, but um, it is also, I love the weather in September. It's like that transition from summer to fall, the air starts to get cooler and more crisp. But beyond all of that, there's just something about September that feels magical to me. There's something in the air that just always feels, I don't know, it's an intangible thing that I can't quite put my finger on, but it's wonderful and it's exciting and it's full of possibility and I just love September. And I think that that's really that kind of perfect segue into my point for what I think we have on tap for us energetically in September is... Um, this is a month of huge potential. This is a month of such powerful energy that we have at our fingertips and that we've been able to access now. You know, the love and the light that we have been, you know, it's like there's been tsunami of love. And let's face it, the tsunami of love sometimes <laughs> has laid some of us out completely of like, holy shit, what was that? But it really has been about moving us into this place of consciously choosing to align with love and being very deliberate in our choice to align with love. Because, you know, free will always reigns. We always have the choice to do what we ever, whatever we wanted it, whatever it is that we want to do in each and every now moment. But... Sometimes that choice is, all right, I can continue to feel separate and, you know, low and, you know, encumbered and burdened and really sluggish and just low vibration. Or I can choose to say, you know what, the work that I'm doing, I know, is clearing out the old stuff and making more room for the higher vibrational frequencies. Sometimes it just really is about doing the work internally. And we have done so much work internally. Really, we can get our, give ourselves a pat on the back and really just throw ourselves a celebration to say, good job, all of us that have been doing the work of consciously and de deliberately choosing to say, you know what, I may not know what it's going to look like. I may not know how it's going to show up, but I know that when I choose to align with this higher vibrational frequency, when I choose to align with the best feeling option to available to me in every moment, again, it's not about getting up here into the head. It's about creating and living from the heart and saying that, you know what? I surrender. I trust that when I choose the best feeling option, I don't always, I can't always control how it's going to show up. I can't always control what it's going to look like when it gets here, but I can trust that it's going to feel great and it's going to feel better and it's going to feel lighter and it's going to feel freer and it's going to feel more in alignment with the way that I know that I can live my life. And that's what September is all about. It's about deliberately and consciously choosing to say, you know what? This continues to feel like the best opportunity for me. This continues to feel like the best decision for me. And this continues to feel like the kind of life that I want to live for myself. And so this is the choice that I'm going to continue to make. And it is about continuing to do that work, continuing to know that those old patterns may continue, you know, they may rear their head every once in a while. They may pop up and say, are you sure you don't want to choose this one? And we can say, you know what? No, I've done that. <laughs> I know it doesn't work anymore. I know it doesn't feel good. I know that every time that I engage with this lower vibrational choice, it always ends up in me feeling not so great, feeling shitty, feeling depleted, feeling low, feeling afraid or feeling separate. And as we move into unity consciousness, and as we begin to consciously create, it is about understanding that we are the ones that can create the world that we want to see for ourselves. We are the ones that can stand in integrity spiritually and energetically and say that I know that this is the right choice for me. And I don't need anybody else to validate for me. I don't need anybody else to confirm for me because I know in my heart and I know that when I deliberately and consciously choose to align with the highest vibrational frequency that I have available to me in each and every moment, that it will always bring me to a better place and then that will be a better place and then that will be a better place and then that will be a better place. It really is about stepping up on that emotional frequency, that vibrational frequ um, that vibrational scale and continuing to, to, you know, one little step at a time, one moment at a time, one choice at a time, one thought at a time. And that's how we're going to get there is by continuing to consciously choose to align with love and with compassion and with light. And they're showing me, you know, this image of standing in a field and it's early morning and it's very peaceful and it's super quiet and the sun is just beginning to rise and it's like 360 degrees unobstructed view 
there's nothing on the horizon in our way and we really are standing in this new place it's a clean start it's a clean slate and it, as the sun begins to rise, it's like that beautiful, perfect golden light that's the first light that you see in the morning when the sun starts to rise at dawn. And it's quiet and peaceful, and the air is clean, and the air is pure, and that's where we are right now. We really are at this new point. We really are at this, this um, clean slate and this fresh start where we really have cleared out all of the obstructions, cleared out all of the lower vibrational stuff, and we are at a place now where we can say, you know what? This feels good, so I'm going to do this. This feels free. This feels fun. This feels exciting. This feels joyful. This feels unified. This feels full of integrity. This feels like it just makes me want to, like, you know, jump up and down for joy and sing at the top of my lungs. It's like, you know, that scene in The Sound of Music when she's on the field on the mountain and she's spinning in circles. The hills are alive with the sound of music. <laughs> I mean, that's where we are right now. We are in a super powerful place, and it is our job, it is our work, especially this month, to continue to consciously align with love and to continue to consciously align with compassion and the higher vibrational um, aspects that we have available us, to us in every moment. And what does that mean? I think that, you know, first of all, I invite you, if you haven't watched um, the videos that I recorded, Embracing the Shadow Self and um, Releasing Old Energies That Don't Belong to Us, please watch those. They're full of super useful information, and they're definitely in line with and parallel to what it is that I'm talking about for upcoming in the month. But, you know, a lot of times, you know, I can say, choose this, choose that, and a lot of times it's like, but what does that mean? How are the practical ways that I can do that? And there's a lot of things we can do. First of all, it is about accepting and taking responsibility for everything that it is in our life. It is about understanding and accepting the idea and the truth of the fact that we are divine creators, that we have access to the energy that creates worlds, and we are the ones that have created the, the life that we see in front of us for ourselves, individually, but also on a collective level. It is about taking responsibility for that and understanding it's not about victim consciousness anymore. No one is coming in on the white horse to save us. We are the ones that we, are, we have been waiting for, and we are the ones that are going to create the world that we want to see for ourselves and we are the ones that are responsible for the contents of our reality so that's the first thing it's about understanding that it's about consciously and deliberately choosing what we let into our reality it's about establishing those energetic boundaries and saying you know what hanging out with you doesn't make me feel good and you know this is an important key judgment versus discernment judgment says that you are a bad person judgment says that this is a shitty movie judgment says that this book is a piece of crap Discernment says, I don't like the feelings that I get when I hang around with you, so I'm going to choose not to hang around with you. Discernment says, this is not a good movie for me to watch because it makes me feel bad. This is not a good book for me to read because it makes me feel afraid. This is not a good news channel for me to watch because it makes me feel panicked and anxious. So it's about discerning what it is that we're letting into our reality because everything's energy. And if I'm watching something that makes me feel afraid and panicked and terrified for my life and I'm afraid to leave the house, that's not necessarily the best thing that I should be watching. So it's about using that discernment and being deliberate in what we choose to align with. So sometimes that means that we stop hanging out with toxic people or people that make us feel bad, or people that we don't feel we're in alignment with anymore. Sometimes that means maybe I take a media fast. Maybe I stop watching the news. Maybe I stop watching all those things on Facebook that are horrible and shocking and you know horrific. Maybe it means that I decide that, you know what, if it doesn't make me feel good, like I said a couple months ago, if it ain't love, it ain't getting through. So it's about using that filter of love and compassion to surround ourselves and say, my alignment and my um, sense of discernment and my feeling of integrity with the larger part of who I am and the fullness of who I am is the most important thing. So what that means is that I'm going to start to make some new choices and I'm going to continue to feel my way through it. That if it doesn't feel good, I don't have to know why it doesn't feel good. I don't have to know why I don't like being around these people. I don't have to know why I don't like watching the news. Or I don't have to know why I don't like watching certain things or reading certain things or viewing certain things. All I have to know is that it doesn't feel good, so I'm not going to do it. 
Now, that is not to say that we shouldn't be taking action. That is not to say that we shouldn't be helping or assisting or, you know, um, uh, you know, lending a hand to people when we're guided to, to lend a hand to someone. But what it does say is that we can trust what our gut is telling us. And when we choose to consciously align with love, when we choose to consciously align with the energies and the choices and the thoughts and the beliefs that continue to expand us and continue to support us feeling good and continue to uh, support us feeling powerful and unified and connected to all the greatness and the goodness that is available to, to us in each and every moment, that is the right choice. It is understanding that what we want sometimes is on the other side of those things. And when we choose to remove those things from our path, and when we choose to say, you know, say goodbye to those old ways, then immediately the path of least resistance opens up. You know, and sometimes it means that we got to continue to do, to do the work. There are those things. I know we all have those things in our life where it's like, oh God, I haven't been wanting to deal with this. I haven't been wanting to take care of this. I haven't been wanting to do this. But I know that this is a choice that when I make this choice, what I want is on the other side of that and the goodness and the freedom and the joy and the ease and the fun and all of that good stuff, the laughter is on the other side of that. So I'm going to continue, I'm going to deliberately make this choice because I know it's going to be good for me. And I know it's going to be something that is going to support this new reality that I'm moving into and that I want to create for myself. Because we really are the ones that create our reality. We really are the ones that get to decide what it is that we want to see and what it is that we want to bring in for ourselves. So it really is continuing to consciously and deliberately align with the things that we know feel good and that we know are out of love and we know are out of compassion and we know are the best highest vibrational aspect highest vibrational choice that we have access to in each and every moment and understanding that we are the ones that are responsible for the contents of our life and i think that we've moved into that place now where it's a lot easier to feel and it's almost like now i don't even it's like i can feel it coming a mile away like i know i know this is not good for me <laughs> i know this is not a happy choice this is not a choice that allows me to align with feeling good and so I'm going to move in this direction. It is really about continuing to, to look at the light at the end of the tunnel and to move towards that. And as we move towards the light, the light gets brighter, the light gets more expansive. And really, love is so transformative. Love is so integrative. And when we choose to surrender to the love, surrender to the light that is, that is knocking on the door, that is waiting to come in, that has been banging on our door for months now, when we choose to open it up and say, all right, you know what? Come on in. Let's go let's do it then we continue to raise our vibration and we continue to see the wonderful amazing things that we want to see for ourselves start to manifest and actualize in our life and even more importantly we begin to realize how powerful we really are so it really is about consciously and deliberately choosing to align with love and compassion and if it ain't of love it ain't getting through if it ain't built upon compassion it ain't getting through and understanding that Sometimes the most loving, compassionate thing that we can do for ourselves is to let go of these old ways, to let go of these old thoughts, to let go of these old relationships, to let go of these old habits so that we can make room for newness and for lightness and for high vibrational stuff to move in. You know, it's that old saying, you know, if you're hanging on to the past, your hands aren't open to receive the future. And that really, really is true. If we're still clinging to these old ideas out of fear or anxiety or, oh my God, I have to have this because if I don't have this, then I won't, you know, nothing better will come along or what will happen if I let go of this? Take a deep breath, let go, let go, go into the flow let the stream of love that has been coming, you know, the tsunami of love that has been coming over us for the past few months, let it in and let it continue to wash away those old ideas. And we will begin to see and continue to see how powerful we truly are. So really, that's my message for September is be very deliberate in our choice to align with love. You know, we are going to continue to see you know, things happening around the, the planet that are, you know, that seem violent and that seem horrible and that seem awful and that seem scary. And that is not, I'm not trying to put the fear of anything into anybody, but what I am saying is that when we are presented with those, you know, illusions of all these horrible things happening, it is 
only to continue to wake us up to the fact that we are the ones that are responsible for creating our future. We are the ones that are responsible for creating the kind of world that we want to live in. And we are the ones that are kind of, that are responsible for what we've got going on in our lives right now. And the minute that we take that power back and the minute that we take back the reins and say, you know what, uh -uh. you're not the one making decisions for me anymore. I am the one that gets to decide what I want. And once I align with the truth of what I want, and once I know how what I want feels, and once I know what love and compassion and joy and unity and inclusion and safety and freedom feels like, I know that when I move in that direction, I'm going to feel it. And anytime I'm moving in a direction that doesn't feel like it's moving me down that path, then I'm going to continue to veer off into this direction that does feel good. And we don't have to know how it's going to show up. We don't have to know what it's going to look like when it shows up. All we have to do is continue to focus on how it feels and to move in the direction of the best feeling option that we have available to ourselves in every moment. And again, let go of those old things. I know we all have those. You know, it's like there's a an, it's like there's a shirt or a dress or a pair of pants in our closet that every time we put it on, it feels gross and we feel fat and we feel ugly and it's not comfortable and it doesn't feel right. And yet, for whatever reason, we keep hanging it on, hanging on to it. And every few months, we like to pull it out of the closet and try it on again. And ugh, God, no, I hate this outfit. Let it go. You know you don't like it. You know you don't feel good when you put it on. You know you don't feel good when you engage with that outfit. So let the outfit go. Donate it. Give it away. Rip it apart. Resew it. Take it to the tailor. Have them alter it. Whatever. Ever, just stop choosing the things that you know don't work for you anymore and continue to choose the things that do feel good. Be very deliberate with your choice to align with love, with your choice to align with compassion, and let that be the filter of everything. If you have a thought and you're not sure about the thought, filter it through love. If you're inspired to make an action or to create something or to do something <clears throat> or to make a new decision and you're not sure about it, filter it through love. And you will see that the only thing that's going to come through on the other side of that filter is truth and love and light. And you will know, trust your gut, trust your heart, trust your intuition. And we've got that big expansive field before us. The sun is rising, it's shining its beautiful golden light upon us, and we really now are beginning to build these new structures and these new realities. And if it is not something that is aligned with love and compassion and all these higher vibrational aspects and the fullness of who we are, then it's not a structure that's going to last. And that's the whole point of this, is creating a new reality, a new paradigm, a new structure that is based upon unity, that is based upon love, that is based upon compassion, and based upon everybody on the planet getting what they need and what they deserve and what they desire out of their lives and out of their world. So that's what it's all about. So consciously continue to align with love and light. Do not let anything take you from the path. When things outside start to feel crazy or when you're you know, feeling like it's a scary place, stop looking at the news. Stop reading the newspaper. Stop going on Facebook. Sit your butt down. Meditate. Get outside into nature. Go back within. Align with that sense of love love, align with the fullness of who you are, and it will always take you back to that place of stillness. And from that place of stillness, you will always be able to hear the voice of your intuition, which is your soul, which is your higher self, which is speaking to you in a very gentle, calm, loving voice that is nudging you in the right direction that will always take you to the next best choice for you in each and every moment, which will always get you to where it is that you want to go. So that's my message for September. I hope that this resonates with you. I invite you to go to my Facebook page. You can follow me there. Go to my new website. If you haven't gone to my new website, you can sign up there to make sure you receive all my updates. Go to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to me there to make sure you receive all my information that I share. As always, I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you're happy and healthy. I can't wait to see what September holds for us. I know it's going to be an amazing month as long as we continue to align with what we know to be true. And the only thing that's true is love. The only thing that's true is light. And it is super important that we consciously and deliberately continue to align with those higher vibrational states. Thank you as always for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.